What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony from Composite Studio and welcome back to your 49th Java programming tutorial. Um, so sorry I haven't made a video in a little while. Um, I was busy doing a few tests this week studying for those and I didn't get really have the time to make any tutorials but I'm going to be making a couple more throughout this week and um, yeah so as I said before I'm running out of tutorials to do in the beginner series so pretty soon we're going to be going into advanced tutorials in Java. Um, and then finally we're gonna get to game development so I'm pretty pumped for that uh, and yeah so in this tutorial it's gonna be really basic and I'm just gonna be teaching you guys a little bit more about object-oriented programming since um Java is a great a really good object-oriented programming language um, it's probably one of the best that I know and it teaches you a lot of good habits in object-oriented programming so we may as well utilize that and learn a little bit more about objects so I'm just going to be teaching you guys how to access your date and time inside of Java and basically just display that out onto your console down here. And so yeah, let's jump right into it. Um, so the first thing you guys are going to have to know is that there's an object in um, Java, Java's API, that's called Calendar. Now your calendar is basically an object that stores your date and time. Um, so yeah, let's make a calendar object right now. So calendar. Uh, let's call it cal or something and we'll set it equal to new and usually we would go new calendar and put down our little circle brackets and we would add this import and all everything's fine and dandy and then you notice that there's an error java.util.calendar is abstract and cannot be instantiated um, this is way out of the scope of the beginner tutorials so I'm not going to even attempt to go into abstract classes because you guys would just get way too confused um, basically all you gotta know is that you can't actually say that it is a new calendar you have to go into another class that basically stores your date and time and set it equal to new Gregorian calendar so let's just add that import right now import Java well improv that's not a word import Java dot util dot Gregorian calendar right there put down your semicolon and instead of having calendar here, you're going to have to put down Gregorian calendar because, or else we would get this weird little error that I don't even want to attempt um, telling you guys what all that means because you guys would be all confused. Um, so just bear with me. Basically, you're going to set make a calendar object and then you're going to set it, initialize it as a Gregorian calendar saying basically that you want to use this type of calendar. Um, so yeah, now all you got to do, you got through the tough part. Let's just print out our date and time. So go into your calendar object, go cal dot, and then we're gonna go to get time. And that's just a simple little method, and I messed up again. I did not make this variable static. And so if you made this a static object, well, you have to make a static object because we're accessing it in the main method, which is a static method. But if you guys don't wanna make it static, all you have to do is you just bring this calendar object inside of our method and then that gets rid of that error because basically it is a static method or a static object now because it is actually in a static method so if you guys don't want to write static out there just pop that object right back into your method and you'll get rid of that error um so yeah that's basically all you have to do let's run this thing and i'll show you what it does bring that up so as you guys can see it's Thursday, May 3rd, and it is in army time, so 1936, which means 7.37. I was just looking down at my clock there. And so yeah, that's basically all I have for this tutorial. And if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to answer those. So thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.